Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Yi 1080p dome camera. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a motorized surveillance or monitoring camera and here are some of its features. And taking a look at the back of the box, there are some technical specifications. And of course, the QR code for the Yi Home app to operate the camera with. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the box by, of course, cutting apart the sticky seal there. And of course, popping up the box flap. Okay, so at the top, there appears to be some documentation or papers. Let's set them down and we can take a close up look at them in just a moment. So just laying them across the tabletop. And we continue to remove the contents from the packaging. Okay, so that's the contents removed, always checking to make sure that there's nothing else left inside the box packaging. I'm gonna set the box to the side right there and spread the contents out neatly right here. And then we can take a close up look at all the items. So just bringing them a little bit closer together right there. Okay, so that's all the contents that were removed from the Yi 1080p dome camera box packaging. Let's start off by first taking a look at this booklet here. Once again, we see that QR code at the back of the booklet. So this appears to be a startup guide or setup guide. I'm just gonna spread it across so you can see the contents. So giving you a close up look right there as to the accessories or parts that come with this 1080p dome camera. Okay, so that's the diagrams, of course, more information at the rear. Also good for your reference should you lose the user manual or just need to find out more about the product before any purchase. So just going to set that right at the top if I can do so right there. The long reach, my part, and there appears to be a Yi sticker it feels like a sticker anyway with some social media links and of course a thank you note or message on it so just going to set that right there as well and move on to the next item so finally we have this last set of papers right here i'm just going to show you the front and back of it so the print is quite a bit smaller on this set of papers so it has some warranty information about the Yi 1080p camera. And I'm just gonna give you all that information right there. And on the reverse side, some more information. So I'm gonna set that down to the side as well. And right there, and moving on to the next item. So let's start off by taking a look at this plastic part here. It appears to be a wall or ceiling mount clip, but I could be wrong. Okay, but there we go. And set that down and move on to the next item. So there appears to be a packet of wall plugs in here. 
with a couple of screws as well. No real need to unpack this. Okay, setting that down. Moving on to the next item. There is, of course, what appears to be a power or USB cable. Let's open this up because we will be needing it to power up the dome camera. So nice to see that it comes in recyclable packaging. I'm going to set that to the side as well. So giving you a look at the USB cable right there. And of course, we'll take a look at the length when we set it up. So right there. USB, micro USB cable right there. And I'm just going to set this down as well and move on to the next item. So it appears to be a three pin wall plug right here. We'll be needing this as well. So taking a close up look, very simple wall plug, three pin with a USB socket right there. and some safety specifications or certifications right there. Simple USB plug or plug or mains plug right there. Okay, I'm gonna set that down as well. And finally moving on to the main item, which is the USB or actually 1080p camera right here. So this a motorized camera that works off Wi-Fi, so using your Wi-Fi connection to stream the video data and audio data as well. So it does have infrared night vision and Yi also actually does provide a cloud storage system which is quite good if you require secure storage for your videos. Or recordings. So just giving you an all on look. So weight wise it's reasonably light in weight and size wise you can see resting in the palm of my hand. And taking a look at the base as well or on the side right there. Once again that QR code And front on. So giving you a close up look to the various aspects of this 1080p dome camera. So you can see the branding there, very subtle. And of course, it does come in this white or slightly off white finish. Let's say a pale white with, of course, a glossy black camera housing. And of course the front, I do believe these could be LED status indicator lights or microphone points. And taking a look at the back of the unit, there's a reset button there, a micro USB port, and what appears to be a micro SD card slot as well. So it supports up to 32 gigabytes of data storage on a single micro SD card. So right there, giving you a good all round look the Yi 1080p dome camera. So fairly lightweight with of course a plastic construction. It does have 345 degrees of horizontal rotation as well as 115 degrees of vertical rotation for the up down. And it does have a 112 degree wide angle lens so pretty good and coupled with night vision as well this will come in 
pretty handy for your monitoring or surveillance purposes. Okay, so let's set it down. And of course, let's take a look at the micro USB cable, undo it just to show you the cable length, which is quite important when it comes to sighting the camera or positioning of the camera. So reasonably long in length, as you can see. So let's plug this end in to the wall plug. And of course, the rear or micro USB end to the rear of the dome camera. Just making sure that, that it is in the right orientation. So just very gently making sure, triple checking that is correct having a little bit of a struggle right there. Trying to push, there we go. You heard that click right there, just being very careful there, but it does fit very, very snugly and securely in there. And of course, we want to power it up and let's power it up by of course, connecting it to a power lead or socket extension, which I do have on the side here. And let me flip the switch as well, just to make sure that we've got power coming in from the wall or mains power supply. And right there, I flip the switch. And of course we need to plug it in. So we're not quite done with the plug in yet, which we'll do right now with this extension. So we plug it in right there. And before we flip the switch, let's position the camera right there. Flipping the power switch on, you can see the status indicator lights flashing away at the front of the dome camera or the base of the dome camera right at the front and you can see it appears Welcome to be Welcome to Yi Home camera waiting to connect Okay so you heard that startup prompt there voice prompt let's go ahead and of course go into the app so I do have my Sony waiting to connect. Let's actually move the dome camera to the side and I do have the Sony Xperia XZ3 smartphone in the case collection. Brushed carbon fiber slim TPU case, both of which I've unboxed in an earlier or earlier videos. Wait Let's go to in connect. to the phone and tap on the Yi Home app, which I've very recently installed. and it's giving us an option that says welcome. Add a new device, let's try that. Tapping on, perhaps not. Let's press on the plus over there to add a new device. Okay, so it's giving us an option or list of cameras to connect. So we're gonna add the the dome camera, but it says that if you're not sure, Waiting click here to, to scan the QR code. So let's tap on that. Allow. And remember, there was a QR code at the bottom right there. And just like that, the app has picked up and identified the camera. Waiting to connect. And it does, does say, at the bottom, I heard waiting to connect right there. Just giving you a look there at the app. Now let's tap on that. Now it says Yi Home needs to use your location rights to configure the camera network. 
to complete the binding process. Do you agree to continue? Let's tap yes and allow the location. And now it's asking for the Wi-Fi password. So let's go ahead and tap in the Wi-Fi password right there. Okay, and let's see if that works. And let's connect. Okay, so now it says show the QR code to the camera lens. QR code scan is successful. Connecting to Wi-Fi. So you can see it's doing a whole host of connections right there or set up. Wi-Fi password error. Okay, doesn't quite like the password the Wi-Fi so let's see what we can do here let's go back to connect. and of course go through the whole step again our oh, process right there and waiting connect yes let's go and see and make sure that the password is correct waiting to connect so Let's do that again. Okay. And let's see if we can do that. Please paste the QR code. And let's go through this to connect. again. QR code scan is successful. Connecting to Wi-Fi. And let's hopefully see that the password is correct this time around so far so good Wi-Fi password error okay to connect. let's do it again so let's go back and connect I don't even know my Wi-Fi password very interesting and let's add a new device so for the third time let's see if we can get this right Okay. Waiting to connect. Third waiting connect. Up there. And of course, let's do the Wi Fi password again, making sure that I've got it right this time round. And of course, tapping away. And connect. Space the QR code. Waiting to connect. And hopefully, this time round, third time lucky. We QR can connect it successfully. So, so it's now trying to connect right there. And let's see what happens. So you can see the LED at the top. It's a blue LED that's flashing away. It does it. Is connected. There we go. Finally, we are now connected after three tries. And let's see. Let's... Pairing is successful. You can start using your camera now. Okay, so let's start using the Ye 1080p dome camera now by tapping on the Pairing next. Is successful. You can start using your camera now. So pretty, pretty user-friendly interface, very intuitive, giving you very simple and straightforward setup instructions. So we can save. It's giving us the cloud storage option right there. Let's just start using it without the storage option and tap here to see what your camera sees. So if we tap there and let's turn it around facing the wall, we can see hopefully, okay, doesn't seem like anything much is happening at the moment. And let's go back. Let's go back to the devices and tap on the Yi Dome camera right there. And just like that, it is now displaying the view from the dome camera. So let's see, give you a close up look right there. What we're dealing with at the bottom as well. So hopefully a nice good look at the app and of course being a motorized. Okay, so now it's prompting for a new firmware update. Let's go ahead and do that as well. 
and just showing you the different versions of the firmware right there. Okay, so let's do that. It might take four to five minutes. Let's let the video run. Firmware. So far, so good. So it says it's completed. Camera will automatically reboot to upgrade later. Thank you for your patience. So very interestingly, it's downloaded the firmware, but it's not not installing it until the camera is rebooted. So let's go ahead. Upgrading firmware. Please keep the camera plugged in. So it's refreshing to hear like a very English type voice rather than a Chinese type English voice, if you know what I mean. So let's see what's happening. Let's look at the front of the Yi 1080p dome camera. Okay, so nothing much seems to be happening right there. Let's tap and it does appear to be trying to connect. But I think that the dome camera is actually going through the firmware update process at the moment. So I don't think we'll be successful in connecting right this very moment. So, okay, anyway, just showing you the various parts or functions of the app right there, the Yi Home app. So that was the last view from the camera. And I heard the lens. Okay, so you can see that the dome camera appears to be going through the reboot initialization phase, as we saw earlier when we first or initially powered it up. So now with the firmware going through the update process, you can see that there's been a little bit of progress on the app with the connection. Now it's showing 25% instead of five. Not sure whether that's accurate or not. Let's go back and tap on it again and hopefully the camera is now ready to rock and roll okay the side light is showing blue always refer to the user manual before installing and using any such electronic devices to make sure that you're using it in the right manner so let's go back Click again to ex exit, tap on the Yi Home app just to restart the app and tapping right there. So we're actually connected. You can see as I move the camera around, you can see that the display on the Sony Xperia XZ3 is responding That and of course we can change the resolution right there so giving you a close-up look let's tap on that and go HD on it so this is now showing an HD resolution and if we tap on that let's see what happens display over apps okay so don't mind that let's go back to the eHome app the 1080p resolution and the data stream rate and let's expand it to the maximum view right there and you can see that there are navigation controls on the right and let's see if we can control it right there we've got the joystick right there and you can hear it does move quite nicely with very, very little noise. 
just set the camera forward a little bit more so you can see exactly what is happening as I try and move it with this joystick right here. As you can see, it does rotate pretty nicely right there. So the wall directly in front of us is about two meters away from where the camera is currently sat on the tabletop and looking right ahead. If you're familiar with my channel videos, you'll see that that broadband here bin right ahead, I've just unboxed in the previous video, or at least a couple of videos ago. And let's see if we can zoom in so we can actually expand the image. So right there at 1080p, it is clear enough to show us the text on the bin label right there. And this is at the maximum enlargement. And right there, you can see quite a big difference in terms of the expansion. of the image or video right there and while being zoomed in we can still control it without losing that level of magnification it's nice to see right there and should we need to revert it in the normal magnification right there? We can do so very easily, of course, with the pinching or stretching on the smartphone screen right there. Okay, so very cool, very simple app to use and very simple app to set up with the 1080p dome camera so plenty of options there which we're really not going to look into too much so being able to record take a snapshot and of course being able to speak through testing 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 So very clear right there, the audio coming through. And of course we can mute the audio as well. And then have the control separately at the bottom of the screen right here in a split screen format with the controls at the bottom and video stream at the top. And it's good to see that reaching the extreme ends it does prompt or notify you that the camera has gone as far as it can go so very very user friendly intuitive interface here and let's kill the loop audio right there and uh, let's tap on that see what happens Okay, so there shouldn't be any more feedback. Well, actually there is, but that's just fine anyway. Nice and clear audio pickup right there. And of course, let's try and control it again by bringing back the controls right there. And adjusting the vertical tilt right there, pointing at the ceiling, as you can see. And moving back down again, holding it down, does provide continuous control. And left and right as well. So it does have a 345 degree rotation. So I'm not going to test it all the way to the ends. But right there, you can see it's 180 already. Right there with the rotation. Okay. 
so nice and responsive. Camera right here. And once again, showing you that magnification right there. Digital magnification, of course. Right there to the details or resolution at 1080p of this Yi 1080p dome camera. And the bottom row, once again, showing you the different functionality of the Yi Home app right there. And let's take a quick look in the settings right there, just to show you what options there are. And going right through. And there we have it. That's, that's the list of options. on the Yi Home Camera app. And taking a look at the cloud option right there. And the alerts. And bookmarks. So no bookmarks at present. And back to the controls or current view from the Yi 1080p dome camera. So once again, nice clear view in color. Let's see what happens if I turn the lights off to see if we can get the night vision infrared to work. The room might not be dark enough, but we'll just see what happens when I turn the Lights off right there. Okay, so it is actually dark enough. And you can see that the camera has switched to the infrared night vision mode right there. So nice and clear still. And this room is actually reasonably dark at present. So with all the lights off. Okay, so there is a message right there. Can't quite read it right now through my LCD. But nonetheless, let's see if we can get that control back. So, okay, so controlling it in the dark here. This is the infrared night vision at work. Okay, and let's see the text once again on the Brabantia new icon pedal bin. That's about a couple of meters from where the Yi 1080p dome camera sits. Let's get that label in view and see if we can read or at least identify some of the text right there. So at the maximum magnification right now, you can see the main text is still clearly showing right there, even though it is nearly completely dark in this room and the e dome camera is using its infrared night vision to show us what we see on the screen right now. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the lights back on now. But of course, turning on the main ceiling light. And then the lamps to my side. Okay, so it's still showing and now it's just switched over. You can hear that click there. Very standard for these monitoring or surveillance cameras to hear that infrared switch coming on and off as it detects or comes in and out of the mode depending on the level of ambient light.
and showing you that level of detail with the contrast on the tabletop with the distance of the bin and the wall which is a couple of meters away. So that's the Yi 1080p dome camera. Thanks for watching and happy monitoring.